Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Today I have an exciting video planned as I will be customizing this reusable Starbucks cup with acrylic paint and Posca pens. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe down below and click the bell so you can be notified each time I post a new video. So jumping right in, the first thing I'm going to do is grab this medium grit sanding block and use this to help the cup not be so slippery and the paint to really adhere to this surface. So once I quickly sand over the cup, I take this Liquitex gesso and apply an even coat all around the cup. Not only does this really help to prepare the surface for the paint and give it a better texture, but this also acts like a base coat that helps cover some of that green. So later on, I won't need to reapply a ton of extra paint to cover that Starbucks logo. So I gave the gesso a full day to dry as that's what it said on the back of the bottle, but I really think I could have moved on because after about two hours, the cup felt completely dry. After I get a clean pitcher of water and get my space all set up, I begin with my Liquitex and Master's Touch acrylic paints. And this blue must have not liked me here because it exploded all over my hand. So after a short break to clean my hands off, I continued to add paint to my new palette, which will never look as perfectly white again. I then grab my flat brush in a size 12 and begin to mix the paint into a little deeper brilliant blue. Now I wanted a really smooth gradiated background on the cup with no brush strokes shown so the art I do with the Posca pens later on could really go on easily and be the highlight. So I began to experiment with these synthetic sponges that I got and at first I used a wet sponge squeezed out and as you can see it was kind of pulling the paint back up and bubbling it a bit and I was kind of frustrated with how it was turning out. So I took my flat brush to attempt to smooth some of that out but that created those brush strokes which I didn't want. Finally, I took the second sponge that I had and I should have tried a dry sponge much sooner because I was finally able to achieve that blending to create a really cool ombre background. Once I finished with the first layer, I let it dry to the touch and then moved on to repeat the same process again. Now, I could have probably left it without a second layer, but although you can't really see it in the video, I could still find just a shadow of the Starbucks logo peeking through. Then again, I left it a day to completely dry those two layers of paint, and then I decided to clean up this border around the top edge here. I have tried using masking tape before to help me not have to deal with that extra paint later on, but I found it to not work very well. So I decided to try this sharp artist knife and use this to kind of scrape that extra paint away and it worked pretty well. I then cleaned it up with a bit of nail polish remover, which actually removes the paint nicely. And this works because nail polish does have an acrylic base. Now that our cup is all prepared, I begin using my awesome Posca paint pens to create some adorable little flowers all around the cup. Now, if you are interested in any of the supplies I am using today, I will have all the links in the description box below, so make sure to go check that out. The first flower I begin to paint is this simple white daisy. The Posca pens are going on very opaque, which is perfect and just what I want for these flowers to really stand out against the background. Thank you. 
after I create this adorable little daisy, I move on and begin on a cluster of lavender. I love lavender so much, the shape is super unique and it smells delightful. I think that adding it in really made a lovely contrast between the purple of the lavender and the yellow that I added to the cup later on. Since I didn't have a purple Posca pen, I used some acrylic paint and mixed up the shade of purple that I was looking for. For the lavender, I use my Winsor & Newton brush in a size 1 to be able to get all those details. Now I forgot to mention earlier that when these cups are finished, they make such great gifts and are super special as they are custom painted and unique. As I work with my detail brush, I focus on creating small teardrop shapes that come down the stem of the lavender. Once I feel that the lavender is complete, I rinse my brush and use a dark brown acrylic to paint in the centers for the black eyed Susans that I will begin to work on next. These flowers are so colorful and are a real bold pop of color against the blue background. These are fun and fairly simple to draw as the petals ever so gently droop downwards. And the bullet nib of the Posca pen I was using really helped create that shape of the petals easily. Now, as you can see here, I'm just taking my basic and bright primary colors of the Posca pens and using that pink on top of the yellow to kind of blend in a little bit of shadow with my detail brush. I felt like that was a really cool technique to try and it really worked and added so much more dimension to the petals of that flower. After repeating the flowers on the other side of the cup, I use my Liquitex soft body acrylics to add some dimension and shadows and highlights to the leaves and grasses around the bottom of the cup. This is when I really felt the stems finally started coming to life and matching the flower more because I had already added some dimension and shadows to the flower and the petals of all the different flowers. So this really helped with the shadows and highlights of the stems and I added some more grasses in between some flowers and that kind of helped fill in some blank space a little bit more. To help finish off the artwork, I use my white Posca pen to create kind of a clean white border around the top of the cup. I also used it to add these little white dots floating around, adding more interest and fun whimsical details. So even though acrylic paint is waterproof once it's completely dry, I used this acrylic varnish to add an even finish and a more protective coating to this cup. I added two coats of this spray varnish and it is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below and comment what your favorite part of the process was. And I hope to see you next time.